time to get to work. They flashed through the battle, dodging flak and turbo laser bolts, slipping around cruisers to eclipse themselves from the sensors of droid fighters. They were only a few dozen kilometers from the command cruiser when a pair of tri-fighters whipped across their path, firing on the deflection. Anakin's sensor board lit up, and R2-D2 shrilled a warning. Missiles! He wasn't worried for himself. The two on his tail were coming at him in perfect tandem. Missiles lacked the sophisticated brains of droid fighters. To keep them from colliding on their inbound vectors, one of them would lock onto his fighter's left drive, the other onto his right. A quick snap roll would make those vectors intersect, which they did in a silent blossom of flame. Obi-Wan wasn't so lucky. The pair of missiles locked onto his sublights weren't precisely side by side. A snap roll would be worse than useless. Instead, he fired retros and kicked his dorsal jets to half his velocity and knock him a few meters planetward. The lead missile overshot and spiraled off into the orbital battle. The trailing missile came close enough to trigger its proximity sensors and detonated in a spray of glowing shrapnel. Obi-Wan Starfighter flew through the debris and the shrapnel tracked him. Little silver spheres flipped themselves into his path and latched onto the Starfighter's skin, then split and sprouted spidery arrays of jointed arms that pried up hull plates, exposing the Starfighter's internal works to multiple circular whirls of blade, like ancient mechanical bone saws. This was a problem. I'm hit. Obi-Wan sounded more irritated than concerned. I'm hit. I have visual. Anakin swung his starfighter into closer pursuit. Buzz droids. I count five. Get out of here, Anakin. There's nothing you can do. I'm not leaving you, master. Cascades of sparks fountained into space from the buzz droid saws. Anakin, the mission. Get to the command ship. Get the chancellor. Not without you, Anakin said through his teeth. One of the buzz droids crouched beside the cockpit, silvery arms grappling with R4. Another worked on the starfighter's nose, while a third skittered toward the ventral hydraulics. The last two of the aggressive little mechs had spidered to Obi-Wan's left wing, working on that damaged control surface. You can't help me. Obi-Wan still maintained his Jedi calm. They're shutting down the controls. I can fix that. Anakin brought his starfighter into line only a couple of meters off Obi-Wan's wing. Steady, he muttered. Steady. And triggered a single burst of his right side cannon that blasted the two buzz droids into gouts of molten metal. Along with most of Obi-Wan's left wing, Anakin said, Whoops. The starfighter bucked hard enough to knock Obi-Wan's skull against the transparent steel canopy. A gust of stinging smoke filled the cockpit. Obi-Wan fought the yoke to keep a starfighter out of an uncontrolled tumble. Anakin, that's not helping. You're right. Bad idea. Here, let's try this. Move left and swing under. Easy. Anakin, you're too close. Wait! Obi-Wan stared in disbelief as Anakin's starfighter edged closer and with a dip of its wing, physically slammed a buzz droid into a smear of metal. The impact jolted Obi-Wan again, pounded a deep streak of dent into his starfighter's hull, and shattered the forward control surface of Anakin's wing. Anakin had forgotten the first principle of combat again, as usual. You're going to get us both killed! His atmospheric scrubbers drained smoke from the cockpit. But now, the droid on the forward control surface of Obi-Wan's starfighter's right wing had peeled away enough of the hull plates that its jointed saw arms could get deep inside. Sparks flared into space, along with an expanding fountain of gas that instantly crystallized in the hard vacuum. Velocity identical to Obi-Wan's, the shimmering gas hung on his starfighter's nose like a cloud of fog. Lost, Obi-Wan muttered. I can't see. My controls are going. You're doing fine. Stay on my wing. Easier said than done, Obi-Wan thought. Then said, I have to accelerate out of this. I'm with you. Go. 
Obi-Wan eased power to his thrusters, and his starfighter parted the cloud. But new vapor boiled out to replace it as he went. Is that last one still on my nose? R4, can you do anything? The only response he got came from Anakin. That's a negative on R4. Buzz droid got him. It. Obi-Wan corrected automatically. Wait, they attacked R4? Not just R4. One of them jumped over when we hit. Blast, Obi-Wan thought. They are getting smarter. Through a gap torn in the cloud by the curve of his cockpit, Obi-Wan could see R2-D2 grappling with a buzz droid hand-to-hand. -hand. Well, saw-arm to saw-arm. Even flying blind and nearly out of control through the middle of a space battle, Obi-Wan could not avoid a second of disbelief at the bewildering variety of auxiliary tools and aftermarket behaviors Anakin had tinkered onto his starfighter's astromech, even beyond the sophisticated upgrades performed by the Royal Engineers of Naboo. The little device was virtually a partner in its own right. R2 saw cut through one of the buzz droid's grapplers, sending the jointed arm flipping lazily off into space. Then it did the same to another. Then, a panel opened in R2-D2's side, and its data jack arm stabbed out and smacked the crippled buzz droid right off Anakin's hull. The buzz droid spun aft until it was caught in the blast wash of Anakin's sublights, then blew away faster than even Obi-Wan's eye could follow. Obi-Wan reflected that the Separatist droids weren't the only ones that were getting smarter. The data jack retracted, and a different panel opened, this time in R2-D2's dome. A claw cable shot from it into the cloud of gas that still billowed from Obi-Wan's right forward wing, and pulled back out, dragging a struggling buzz droid. The silver droid twisted and squirmed, and its grapplers took hold of the cable, Climbing back along it, saw arms waving until Anakin popped the starfighter's underjets and R2 cut the cable and the buzz droid dropped away, tumbling helplessly through the battle. You know, Obi-Wan said, I begin to understand why you speak of R2 as though he's a living creature. Do you? He could hear Anakin smile. Don't you mean it? Ah, yes, he frowned. Yes, of course. It. Uh, thank it for me, will you? Thank him yourself. Ah, yes. Thanks, R2. The whistle that came back over the comm had a clear flavor of, you're welcome. Then the last of the fog finally dispersed, and the sky ahead was full of ship. More than one kilometer from end to end, the vast command cruiser filled his visual field. At this range, all he could see were savannas of sand-colored hull, studded with turbo-laser mountains that lit up space with thunderbolts of disintegrating energy. And that immense ship was getting bigger, fast. <laughs>